Welcome. As part of my clutch project, I had to bleed the clutch line, which meant new brake fluid. And of course, me being me, I geeked out on this a ton and spent all sorts of time researching the different types of brake fluid because I wanted the best brake fluid in my car. Since I spent quite a bit of time on it, I figured I'd just create a simple breakdown of all the common different types of brake fluid. So basically there are just five different types. There is dot three brake fluid, dot four brake fluid, dot four low viscosity brake fluid, dot five brake fluid, and dot 5.1. Now, four of the five brake fluids are all polyglycol and one is silicon. The polyglycol based brake fluids are all basically the same. Some have higher specifications, which is the difference in the dot ratings, but they can all be safely mixed and used interchangeably. So to get to the bottom of this whole thing, we are going to look at just a few different properties. We'll start with the boiling points. The boiling points matter because braking uses friction to stop your car. And friction generates heat. All that heat can go into your brake fluid and heat it up to the point where it boils. If it does boil, you basically lose your brakes. So it's bad news. Now that's an extreme case and it's probably pretty rare in regular street driving, but the boiling point is important nonetheless. So you'll typically see two boiling points, the dry boiling point and the wet boiling point. They won't always specify dry boiling point. Sometimes I'll just say boiling point and wet boiling point. Same thing. Basically the dry boiling point is the boiling point of the brake fluid when you open up a new bottle and flush out your brake system. So say you're taking your car to the track and you flush out all your brake fluid and put new brake fluid in you're dealing with that dry boiling point. But if it's not a track car and you don't flush it out right before you drive it, it's been in there for a while, a year, two years, and it's absorbed some water. So the wet boiling point is probably more relevant for you in that case. The wet boiling point is typically the boiling point after the brake fluid has been in the car for about a year and it's absorbed some water. So, Starting with the dot three brake fluid, you'll see that the wet boiling point and dry boiling points are lower than the rest of the brake fluids. This is because dot three brake fluid is basically the lowest grade of brake fluid. It's most likely to boil. It's also a bit cheaper. Looking down here at the viscosity, viscosity only matters in a few situations. It only matters when the brake fluid is cold and the weather is cold. Once it heats up a bit, all brake fluids are very viscous. What is viscosity? Basically, it's how easily the fluid flows through something. So this matters a lot in anti-lock brake systems that have little micro valves that pulse brake fluid to the brakes. If it's cold outside and you have thick brake fluid, they might not be able to pulse quite as quickly and your anti-lock brake system won't work quite as well. If you don't have anti-lock brakes, you don't care about the viscosity at all. Just pick the one with the highest boiling point. All right, moving over to dot four. Dot four clearly has a higher boiling point, but also a higher viscosity. And a lot of anti-lock braking systems do call for dot four brake fluid. So if those valves are kind of on the small side and they're trying to pulse, they might have to pulse a little bit longer to let enough brake fluid through in cold weather because the brake fluid is actually pretty thick when it's cold. Once again, once it heats up, this is never an issue. The problem with viscosity was actually why uh, a few brake fluid manufacturers developed a low viscosity version of the brake fluid. 
So moving on, we've got dot four, low viscosity brake fluid. And uh, as you can see, it has very high boiling points, which is great and also a low viscosity. So if it is cold outside and you're using this on an anti-lock brake system, it can actually improve the feel of the anti-lock brake system when it's cold. Very specific situation, but in that specific situation, the low viscosity could pay off for you there. There's really no downside to the low viscosity. If you have a small leak in your brake system, the lower viscosity of the brake fluid might leak out a little bit faster. But if you have a small leak in your brake system, you should just fix it. So um, unless you happen to have a leak in your brake system that you don't plan on fixing, there's really no downside to the low viscosity brake fluid. That being said, it only really helps in cold weather with anti-lock brake systems with very small valves that have to pulse open and shut. So if you live in Florida or your car doesn't have anti-lock brakes, there's no advantage to the low viscosity dot four, but there's no disadvantage either. So if you wanted to use it for the higher boiling point, you could absolutely do that. Moving on to dot five, dot five is kind of a freak brake fluid. It's only used in very specific situations. Quite often they'll use it in classic cars. It doesn't absorb water. So it can be stored in the brake lines for long periods of time without absorbing water. Sounds great, has a really high boiling point, but the reason why almost no one uses it is that it is compressible, meaning that when you step on your brakes, they feel really spongy and awful, and it just doesn't give you the performance of the polyglyco-based brake fluids. Dot 5 brake fluid also doesn't mix with any of the other brake fluids. That's really important. You cannot mix them, it will cause problems. It's the only one on this board that you can't mix with the others. Uh, so chances are you will never need to get into that. And if you do need to get into Dot 5, you probably already know that. Moving on to the very last one. Dot 5.1 brake fluid. Now confusingly, dot 5.1 brake fluid is nothing like dot 5 brake fluid. It is another polyglycol based brake fluid. So you can mix it perfectly with dot 3, 4, 4 low viscosity, any of the other brake fluids on this board. It is one of the best brake fluids out there. It has a really high boiling point and it has a reasonably low viscosity. So if you're looking for the best brake fluid for your car, choose dot four LV or dot 5.1. And you can choose those regardless of what your car specified, whether it was dot three or dot four, you can put in that brake fluid. One final note, most of these numbers are the minimum specified. Dot three has to have these minimum boiling points and dot four has to have these minimum boiling points. I have noticed that different manufacturers do have higher boiling points than this for their dot four brake fluid or their dot three brake fluid. So pay attention because these are the minimum ones. You're guaranteed at least this, but some manufacturers will better that. So when you're in the store, flip the can around, look at the boiling points, see exactly what you're getting. High boiling points are good, low viscosity is good, and that's about all there is to it. <clears throat> with the exception of dot five, they're all basically the same and you can mix them all together without any real serious problems. It's just a matter of how high a quality you want. And that really just depends on boiling point and viscosity. That's it, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and comment on the video. I always appreciate your comments.